Welcome to the channel. Today I will share with you the ultimate desk setup featuring the M1 MacBook Pro and RTX 3090. Let's jump right in. To start, my desk is the IKEA Edison. It's the 60 by 30 inches. I did not go with the sit stand version of this as I mainly use it for gaming. The desk is sturdy and fits my equipment. I added the nano leaf strips because all the cool kids are doing it. These light strips look even better in low light during my gaming sessions. The chair is made by Nightingale and the model is the CXO 6200D. This chair is incredibly sturdy and comfortable. It weighs almost twice as much as the Herman Miller and body. My monitor is the 32 inch Samsung Odyssey G7. This monitor has 240Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time and is amazing for gaming. To take full advantage of the 240Hz, the G7 is powered by the EVGA RTX 3090 video card. I will include the specs of my rig in the description below. My weapons of choice for gaming are the Logitech G915 mechanical keyboard and the G Wireless Pro mouse. I love the fact that this keyboard is so thin and light. The G Pro mouse is perfect and fits in my palm really well. All of those things help with my long gaming sessions. The only thing I don't like about them is that you have to charge them with micro USB. Come on Logitech, it's time for USB-C. If you're enjoying this video, take a moment to subscribe and turn on the notifications. For audio, I'm using the Rodecaster Pro. The quality and control you have on this audio interface is second to none. The Rodecaster Pro is paired with the Rode Pod Mic. I have it on the Rode PSA1 arm. This makes it very easy to use when you are ready. For my main headset, I use the Audio Technica's M40s. The sound they produce is crystal clear and they fit well on my head even when wearing a hat. I also use the SteelSeries Arctic 7 when I want more mobility in the studio. This headset rests on a stand that I purchased on Amazon. I will leave the link in the description below. For video editing, I use the M1 MacBook Pro. I purchased the 16 inch model with the 512 gigabyte. For additional storage, I purchased two terabytes Sabrent Rocket Extreme Thunderbolt 3 external drive. This travel drive is fast and convenient. The MacBook is docked on a Thunderbolt 4 docking station made by QGym. This docking station allows me to connect my MacBook Pro to all my devices such as my monitor, keyboard and mouse with one cable. And finally, I use Satoshi's 3-in-1 magnetic stand to charge my iPhone 13 Pro Max, AirPod Pros and my Apple Watch Series 7. The convenience of having one device charge all three is a great feature. And that is it for my desk setup tour. Thank you for joining me today. Check in the description box for more information on the items in the video. Leave a comment below if you want me to review any of those items. Also, don't forget to like and share. Peace.